coming at you with an emergency video because today we got a really really good reveal. It's the first reveal that we have. This one is coming from a game called Nobody Wants to Die. Please like this video. Let's go for two likes on the video and we're going to be talking about uh, Call of Duty, GTA 6, PlayStation 5 Pro leaks that are going around, the next Battlefield game and we got a bunch of games that you're going to see in this one. Consider this to be a gaming podcast and roll it. I like him straight. No chaser. Unreal Engine, right? Even though the stuff can kill you. Oh, damn, home. Has that Red Dead vibe? Cyberpunk meets Red Dead, kinda, right? They what are we playing? They say time heals all wounds. But that's bullshit. Oh, damn, homie. It's like I'm watching Oppenheimer right now. What the hell is going on? WL Banger? Or you caught the erectile dysfunction? It does. Time reveals secrets. Oh, huh? Sheesh. Not secrets bad. Secrets that enslave us. Yeah, it has like kind of cyberpunk. Yeah, secrets cyberpunk. Secrets that poison kind of us. Oh, damn, homie. Secrets that rip us apart. Oh, New York, okay. And my feet. Secrets. I'm gonna drag into the light. Or they'll drag me to hell. Oh, damn, homie. Okay, mine kind of blown right there, oh, though. Shit. And it's coming this year. Uh, this next game is called The Singing City 2. So what are we thinking so far, guys? Uh, erect you caught the erectile dysfunction. You think it's busting? You think banger? Listen, man, I'm just saying. Like, I, 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 yeah, yeah. And recently, we had PS5 Pro leaks going around. We're going to talk about it. The next Call of Duty game. Any of you care for the next Call of Duty game? Okay, not bad. The Singing City 2. It's like a resident like horror game. Oh, let's see. I think this is another cinematic. Okay, let's check it out and then talk after, okay? Damn! Okay, so far bussin'. So far bussin'. Hey, bussin'. Hey, bussin'. Oh, man. Oh, she crying? Oh. You watch her be like nine feet tall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just get my bob of war, real quick. Yeah. Damn, the zombie louder than my bullets, uh, though. There it is. We got Tsunami coming in. That's like Fukushima right there, bro. <laughs> That's like Fukushima. Okay, not bad, not bad. Homie running right now. Homie falling, classic. That's a certified hood classic. Yeah. Okay, honestly kind of intriguing but but not really sold on it because it's like Bruh. it's a cgi cinematics right this one this one is called the lost wild you whatever happened to that dominic toretto fast and furious actor uh movie uh, uh movie game uh what's the name what's the name arc yeah arc 2 right we never really heard of it and is arc uh, being made by ubi snooze i think it's not but i could be wrong because if it's being made by ubi snooze that that tells me why we haven't heard much of it but this one is from the Great Ape Games. Great Ape Games. So another dinosaur survival game. Not bad. Not bad. And the game is called The Lost Wild. We got a bunch of other games too, guys. Stick around for that. And PS5 Pro leaks are literally everywhere. We're hearing that it's going to be 33 teraflops. Bruh. The Xbox Andes, they're refusing to believe that. The Sony ponies are doing helicopters with their woolies. Right. Everybody's like, <laughs> I want me. I want me that uh, PS5 Pro. Some, obviously, a lot of people are also saying they don't need it. Uh, a lot more people are like, hey, where are the games? And understandably, because we aren't really 
I truly do believe that all of the good games are gonna be next year. This year, the only, and guys, I know it's gonna sound really, really ridiculous and sad. This one is called System Shock 1.0, May 21st. You cooperate and I'll give you the info. It's gonna sound really sad when I say this, but the only game that I see doing kind of decent this year is the next Call of Duty game. Bruh. Yeah, we had Hell Divers, we had Paul World. These are amazing games, but these are already out. And mind you, these are not AAA games. I'm strictly talking about like the, the, the high budget AAA games, but I feel like that the 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 mindset is changing even for me and uh, most people are like hey bro like it's not just about triple a games anymore look at helldivers double a right killing it and it's a good game too so it's killing it everybody's on it to do with the ai i think yeah and on top like fortnite prime example of a game that's i guess now we can say triple a but it did not start off as triple a right like, it didn't have the most amount of budget or the monies, right? They just made it, people played it, suckers were on it. And now it has became like a full-blown empire, though. Like, they, they got so many different branches, so many different game modes in the game. They got creator mode as well, right? Creative mode, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, not talking about the content creator creator code. I'm talking about, like, the actual creative mode where sickers can make their own maps this one is called pragmata 2024 ps5 yeah they revealed it not long ago so this is like sony pony exclusive playstation and also gonna be on pc oh shit okay i have not seen this a uh, new reveal i think right of the game definitely keep edp away bro like all right it's like detroit become human uh, a little bit, right? Yo, I need Detroit Become Human too as well, bro. Like, deadass. Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain and Detroit Become Human was made by the same development team. I'm not sure what, what those bozos are doing right now. Is this another space game? Space. Okay, we, we got that. Ugh. Astronauts? AI? She AI as well? What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm not sure about this game. Uh, bus in or you not feeling it, bro? I, I ain't feeling it to be honest. Where wins meet? Oh damn, son! We got Ghost of Tsushima 20 out here, guys. Bruh. What we thinking, man? What we thinking? Uh, yeah, PS5 Pro leaks everywhere, and apparently coming out by the end of this year. And uh, this is apparently speculation, and uh, now we're, and rumors, and we're diving in speculation territory. But it, it's almost as though GTA 6 was supposed to come out by the end of 2024 at the same time as PlayStation 5 Pro, right? But they apparently need more time and they're delaying it. They officially never said delay, but they officially said 2025. But we, we can argue right now that they're kind of delaying because they, in a way, kind of are delaying because they said 2025 and in their earnings recall, you know, you remember when they said fiscal 2025, which in simple English means that early 2025, that GTA 6 is supposedly coming out before april 2025 that's what fiscal 2025 means those of you that do not know but fast forward now to now fast forward to now they have changed their wording and this is calendar 2025 which in simple english means calendar like the entire year of 2025 which means that it can come out between january and december but now the speculation here is that since they have changed the wording from fiscal to calendar it, it, it's like dog why do it right why do it they they clearly did it because they realized that the game is not going to be coming out before april of 2025 so now a lot of people are like hey it's going to come out september probably by november so a lot of people are believing it's like by the end of 2025 and, and honestly it seems very likely and time is kind of going quick right now we already in march maybe you're watching this video in april let me know when you're watching maybe 2050 or something like that maybe you're watching this video in 2025 and we're like damn near to the release of GTA 6. You never know, right? Holy crap, you never know. But it still will feel like really, really uh, long if the game were to release, if GTA 6 were to release by the end of 2025. That's like, yeah, right now less than two years, but back in December of 2023 when they revealed the trailer, we were all like, dog, it's gonna be a two years wait, holy crap. But if the game comes out early 2025, then it's going to be like a year and a couple of months. And right now, being in March, we're more than halfway through March right now. Being in March, it's like, damn, homie. 
if the game comes out before April, we're like a year away. Oh, Just think about it. If GTA 6 comes out in a year, uh, in by March, we're like literally a year away. And this game is called Space Marine 2. Honestly, like this game has a lot of a lot going on. Initially, I didn't like it, but then I saw a little bit more, and I was like, it, it busting. Like th this game busting, guys. This game busting. Look at that. I, I feel like that it's all the birds that are flying away that <laughs> that makes me feel like that it's busting. It might not be. You got like the juggernaut kind of suit, right? Here they come. It's just chaotic. I love it. I miss the chaotic games, you know? I miss the chaotic games. Like, I I'll say this any any time, uh, any given day, I will. I, I prefer the original God of War games versus God of War 2018 and Ragnarok. Bruh. I now, keep in mind, I don't hate Ragnarok or 2018, right? And nowadays, like, it's like, uh, hey, bro, so you like those games? Does that mean that you hate these games? Nah, bro, I love all of the games. I'm a massive God of War fans, but uh, God of War fan, but I just prefer God of War 1, 2, and 3. God of War 3, one of the best game ever uh, in the series. Uh, or not one of the best, I mean, the best god of war game period in my opinion okay subjectively maybe you can disagree that's fair but and i'm not saying ragnarok and 2018 are bad it's just that i miss the the rage element the gameplay aspect because sony has come down and sony is like a movie studio right yeah. this is what the xbox andy's always say that you oh, you're just it's just a movie game man it's just a movie game i mean uh tough love the movie games are actually uh, really really fun sometimes too but i have to agree on this one that I, I, I wish that we also had some gameplay type games too, right, from Sony. I guess they're changing it and they're realizing this is why they are, I, I believe they released Helldivers and they didn't think it would succeed and it did. And I think now they're gonna really, really up the, the development on future projects that are also gameplay heavy. Uh, and live service too. Would you say, I, I have not played Helldivers, I'm not the target audience. Look at that, holy crap, like, look at the, the amount of uh, stuff that's happening. I miss games like that, honestly. Uh, but, uh, if you're playing Helldivers, would you would you consider that game to be the best live service game? Or the worst live service game, but it's still fun, kinda. Like, where are you leaning? Because I, I I cannot give you my opinion, because I have not played it. I, I don't know how bad or good the live service is. Live service essentially means and content coming, but... Uh, and, and it's a good thing live service. I'm all up for live service games But the problem is that the word live service has lost all meaning because most of these Publishers have turned live service into monetization hell. It's like Call of Duty, right? Like they're like live service, but they give you they, they give you the BBC bundles for $20 and this game is called Empire of the Ants So the word live service this is why many people hate live service now. If you were wondering, hey man, I love live service, I love live service, why everybody hates live service? Nah, it's not that people hate live service, it's just that every every piece of content that we get, it's like monetized. It's like you pay $70 plus taxes for a game, and then you gotta pay weekly to acquire new content, because they come out with new content every single week. New content every week sounds amazing, but guess what, the new content every week, it's just skins, for twenty dollars, bruh. Yeah, this game kind of. <laughs> you at this point, we're gonna have game of on everything though. They came out with Stray, which was a cat game, and now we have an ant game. Ant Man, is this a new game? Oh no, same game. Oh shit, we got we got spiders too. Holy crap, my arachnophobia is uh, all time high right now, guys. Goddamn! To be honest, man, like ants are insanely. They they I, I feel like the ants have more. Ants got higher IQ than humans because the way I see them is like they don't fight with each other, they work together, you know? What I mean? Bruh. And humans always say that, like, what if the aliens are looking at us like the way we look at ants? I refuse. I, I disagree. Respectfully, I disagree. Because ants, they work together, they collab. Humans, we never work together. <laughs> We never collab together, though. Uh, I mean, we do, but not everybody, I guess, right? Uh, Project 007, yay! Yo, I remember the this game. Action adventure, single player James Bond game is one of 
at this point, it's never coming out. It's a James Bond game that we heard for years, right? These with Daniel Craig, especially Casino Royale, are some of my favorites, and the It Man games are in my top favorite franchises ever. Casino Royale, one of the best movies. And you get movie, an yeah. ambitious AAA James Bond game being made by the creators of the It Man games. Literally, what more can you ask than this? These are the perfect developers for such a franchise. They've already mastered the stealth, the gameplay elements, the gadgets side of things, and the infinite possibilities to end a target. First of all, it is said that. Project 007 will be a more scripted experience than It Man's free for all missions. It Man gave you targets to assassinate and then you were left on your own to decide how to do it. You could discover infinite opportunities as you explored the open maps and then go on from there. And you could also cause absolute chaos and shoot everyone. Project oh, 007 though, as is to be expected, will be more linear, high stake mission oriented where everything you do will have an impact on the mission. You won't be given infinite possibilities because you're James on and you infiltrate secret bases in a stealthy, more serious way. Most of the maps won't be open-ended as well because James Bond has never really been about that, though it'll and that is if the game comes out, to be game honest. game has been officially pitched as being the ultimate spy craft fantasy where we'll be able to do what every spy has always wanted. So when is wanted, it coming out? 2025? what James Bond can do like in the movies. This probably means lots of unique gadgets to try and use as James Bond, which I'm really happy about because there are so many, especially in the movies. And what's yeah. said to be a bit of a different theme than the brutal, murderous Hitman games. It's also been confirmed the game will be a third-person action-oriented project uh -huh. with like an original like James Bond that isn't a uh, first person or a uh, third person which one you prefer uh, for single player games i would go with third person I wouldn't mind if there's an option to go in first person, yeah, but like third person absolutely. New story where you'll be going on missions around the world. I own an island. And this game is called? Of the Ghost of Costa Rica. Uh, Jurassic really Park Survival. No expense. Wait, what? Is that like a new trailer? You know the Mia Khalifa game, right? I wanted to show them yeah, right? Like there was a... Yeah, this is the one, this is the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is that the same trailer or a new one? I think it's a new. Or no, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe? Maybe yeah? Maybe not. Let's see. Can I think it's a new one. I don't know. I could be wrong. Mia Khalifa, but up here. Okay, no, this is a Mia Khalifa version. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, this is that. Uh, yeah, bro, she looks like her. Bro, dog, like. I mean, a hand on top of this bottle of water, dog. Like, she looks like her. Hey, that's Mia right there, though. Damn, homie. But now, zero, uh, James Bond 007 game, right? Still, we don't have any release date. Uh, we don't know when that game is coming out. So at this point, like, Yasukas might not even better... Like, nah, I, I don't want to say, like, don't even release it. <laughs> nah, it's... Uh, they're working on it, I guess, uh, so... But when is it coming out, right? Uh, I believe I heard about the 007 game all the way back in 2020. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I... I, I yeah, I, I feel like that ever since the Roni situation, we have been in a time blip, just like how it happened in Avengers Endgame, right? Time blip, bro, time blip, bro, time blip. Uh, yeah, time has... Is it me or you guys also feel the same way that time is going by ridiculously fast? You just don't even know what's happening, what's going on anymore. You, obviously, you're working a job or you're in school. Uh, and it's like, most of your time, if not all of your time, is just in, like, sleeping working and repeating essentially like and doing chores uh and all that crap right you're not uh having any time to kind of like relax and chill and think about right because i'm certainly one of those guys that never gets time to chill and relax i always am going either i'm sleeping or I, or i'm working on youtube videos and, or or if i find like a free time i always always try to work out daily as well i don't go to the gym that's gonna be the next step but at home, like, I always, always try to work out every single day because it's necessary. I honestly, bro, like, I don't like working out, but I've been doing it mostly every day, literally every day. And I don't do much uh, workout. It's going to sound hilarious, but like five minutes, 10 minutes a day. Bruh. Uh, I, I, I kind of do like high intensity workout, right? So I do it faster, saves time. And also it's good for like, you know, brain cells, uh, right? Like if you're, if you're not working out, like it's bad, right? It's bad on your body. And it's also bad mentally. If you're working out, it's really good uh, mentally as well. You, you get more brain cells, and the more brain cells you have, the faster you're gonna learn, adapt, and think of ideas, and uh, critically think. It's just good all around, right? So I've been on that grind, but the next step is to uh, go to the gym, but it's like, damn, man, damn, homie, cannot even find the time for that, right? Like, there's so many, so much stuff to do, but so little time. This game is called uh, The Kingmakers. Yeah, the Kingmakers. How many, how many of you guys are into games like that? 
We got a couple more games coming up afterwards. But how many of you guys uh, also are running into issues with like, Hey man, I don't find any time, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. There's a great saying that you gotta make time. And I fully understand and re respect that. But it's like, dog, still 24 hours ain't enough, man. 24 hours in a day ain't enough. I was actually chatting with my homie in in, uh, in car uh, yesterday and was talking about dog like they gotta like w uh, we, ha we have been here on the planet for thousands and thousands of years dog like why haven't somebody develop a pill or a thing that that we eat or take and then we don't have to sleep Bruh. I know sounds kind of silly though I, I know sounds kind of silly yeah right but like if there was a way to like not sleep and be sane 24 7 man i would take that it's like because when we sleep we waste a lot of a lot of years off of our lives but i truly understand that it's uh sleeping in a way it's kind of like a way of uh getting ready for death in a way right because when you sleep you don't even know what's going on right like you sleep time skips and that's it you wake up and that's it right ever th thought about that this way it, it of destruction. Senticide. It. It's called Senticide. Blood. Out of which we got one more. Angels were born. Oh damn, homie. We were low-key talking about death, and then we have the angel of death right here. God damn. Or a mock up at least. If you can't defeat them, join them. Join them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like in my mind I'm thinking about, you know, when Harry Potter gets the elder wand. Ay 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 ay. Oh, damn, homie, that bustle. Okay, not bad, not bad. But it's like a whole lot of CGI trailers, right? Like, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the, the top one game, and it's called Zoo Choices. Oh my god, yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one. So PC later to consoles. It's like the, the zombie game, right? And the first time when I saw this, I was... uh. Yeah, wait for it. I was also thinking about, like... You know that in real life there's a zombie deer virus. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Uh, so far, I believe it cannot be transmuted to humans, which is a good thing, though. That's a good thing. Otherwise, we would be. Uh, it would be a massive problem. But you never know, right? You never know. All right, let's check this out. Oh damn, that thing got like ten hands or ten fingers on one hand. No, bro. Yeah. So we got kangaroos as well. Ow! Ow! Holy crap! This sucker got two two mouths though. Damn! Okay, not bad, but guys, click on this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done. If you love this, you're gonna love this. We had a very, very intense conversation, new gameplay reveals, and a ton of other videos. Consider that to be a podcast as well. Check it out, and I'll see you right there. On the left, though, this video is on my second channel, actually. So if you have a new channel, check out both of these, and I'll see you right there, guys.